It is Son of Eddie Whitey back again with another video, and today we're gonna be trying out something new. Um, we're no, we're still drafting. It's not a new new. We're still drafting. Um, we're gonna be trying out a core draft though. I've obviously done a ton of core drafts since they came out off camera, but I'm doing my first one on camera. So please bear with me if I I don't know make a mistake if I'm a little slow. Yeah, just bear with me. We're gonna we're gonna run into get into a game here. Um, I do know the set a lot better than I know Ammon Ket. Um, considering I've only done like four or five drafts of Ammon Ket, and I've done at least 20 of uh, these core drafts. So I do know what I'm doing here a lot more than with the Ammon Ket drafts. So yeah, just bear with me. Um, sit back and relax. Let me try doing this also. Let me try turning this up a little bit more for you guys. I'm noticing my volume's kind of low. I keep noticing that actually. <laughs> oh, still waiting, dang. At an actual wait time today. 40 second wait. You need one more seat, one more seat. Someone someone could join a draft. I remember the struggles of drafting in real life where you need that eighth person. You're just saying to the seven people like, I don't wanna buy, I don't wanna draft with a seven person pod. That's boring. Uh, like, big oof. Or drafting with like 11 people pods. Oh my God, you, you can't ha expect anything to wheel. You're just kind of sitting there like getting past cards and taking cards. There's no strategy. You're just, all right, the guy next to me is playing blue, black, and the, this guy is playing red, black. All right, I'll play like green, white, and that, that's it. <laughs> like, ooh, Demonic Embrace is a very nice card. Um, do we have anything else that is great here? This is not, this is a pretty damn good card, but it's not only first pickable. This is a good in removal spell. Demonic Embrace is just easy, pack one, pick one. Someone must have draw, uh, got a mythic because they passed to us quite fast. Uh, okay, experimental overload is pretty good. Um, we have a bunch of removal in this pack. As you can see, we have the the swift response and the scorching dragon fire. Now the option here would be which color pair is better, white black or red black. Um, I haven't played too much red black. I think I played one and I did decent with it. White black I've played a lot and I really like that aggressive strategy. We kind of just playing cheaper creatures and turning them sideways. So I'm gonna go with the swift response here. Actually, swift response doesn't really feed that aggressive strategy. Um, just because it destroys a tap creature. I always forget that. You don't really like this card in the aggressive strategy. I, I'm going to take this. Also, there's more red cards open. Like, these are pretty open. This is, like, one of the better cards in red-blue. So, yeah, we're going to take the Scorching Dragonfire. All right. So, we have um, Liliana's Devotee. I always try to make this card work, and I never get it to work. Red-black would be the color for it to get it to work, though. Um, just because there's some sacrificing with, like, Hobble Fiends and stuff. So... This would be the color card to get it to work. Um, besides that, we have the red green dual card, but Demonic Embrace is just so good, and black seems to be decently open. There's another good green card. Um, so green is a little bit open. We can definitely tell from the signals, but I think I want to take this. Good follow up with the Demonic Embrace. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take this. All right, Hardfire Emulator, Chandra's Magma, Roaming Ghost Light, Goblin Wizardry. Those are all pretty dang good cards. Um, so I think I think this is the best card out of the pack though. Um, Magma's a common you can get get more. Ghostlight is probably the best card in the pack, except it's in blue, and we're kind of we. I, I think they clearly red is open. This card isn't really a signal that blues are open. This is, but this isn't. So I think I'm just gonna take this. Uh, red is definitely open. So yeah, and we already have a scorching dragon fire to back it up. So ooh, those is a bunch of good blue cards. There's a. Sanctum and a Shipwreck Dowser. I really like that Shipwreck Dowser. Uh, I think I have to take that Shipwreck Dowser over the Magmite here. There's only one red card, and I feel like I'm gonna get, I'm gonna feel really bad if I end up, you know, getting a really good blue card. Okay, that's really late, and I think this card's pretty dang good. So what did you do with flying? You can't block? I think that's totally fine, and this is also pretty good. So green blue seems pretty dang open. I'm gonna take this flyer. Um, who knows? Might not end up playing black. We might end up just playing hard Grixis. We'll see. I usually when I when I get a, something like this, I like to to order by, them by colors, and then once I get pack past more packs, I try to like you know divide it up and and see okay maybe this card's better, maybe this card isn't you know. All right. So while we're waiting for our next pick, we just went through a bunch of picks there. We got past a lot of packs, and then now we're just getting nothing. Um, what our best color, like our singular best color, if we were gonna play one color, it's actually really close because Liliana, Liliana's Devotee is kind of decent, um, especially now with blue. It's better with red, I think. Uh, this is probably the best card in our um, thing right now. There's a blue-black, dual land, 
Have a gesture's not bad at all, nor is it unsubstantiated. But Earned Dislike seems like the best card here. We're gonna take this. Might not end up playing Is It. If that blue red gold card wheels, I'm gonna be like feeling so good. Oh, we're, we were at pick seven. Maybe that was pick seven. Hold up. One, two, three, four, five, seven. So, yeah, so now our next pack will be our pack. This this pack that's going around, one of these, one of this guy's packs um, is gonna be our pack. So, like as soon as as soon as we get that pack, we're gonna see. I think it was no, maybe it was pack two. Oh, I don't even remember when we had the experimental overload. I think that's the name of the card. The one, the one that um, the 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 blue red dual card. I don't. Ah. Ooh, that annoys me. Okay, it wasn't this pack, or at least it's not here anymore. No, but I don't remember this. So, it wasn't. Crash through is probably just the best card in the pack. Um, it, it feeds the red blue like prowess type deck. Which does seem pretty dang good right now. We have two prowess spells. We have a bunch of removal. All right, we're we're gonna move these uh, into the board for now. Liliana, Lily, the demonic embrace is probably the best card we have, but just we, it seems that blue red is open. Um, I like frantic inventory more than I like thrill of possibility in the pack one. So, in pack like three and I have none, then yes, I will be taking the the the, the red card, but. Friend of inventory back one with still a few more picks left. I think we can definitely feel feel fine with taking. Um... Oh my god! Okay, uh, well, that's the pack that had it, and we just got it. So yeah, we're gonna be taking. We're gonna be sending it. Um, this is looking pretty good. Pretty pretty good. This is a pretty cool draft. We got. I love this card, Fuller. It's so beautiful. Oh, Goblin Wizardry is nice too. We're just more things with prowess. We're kind of just trying to build up our prowess and then build up like crash through type things, cheap removal spells like Scorching Dragonfire and Shock. Um, Shiver Gals is really good in this type of combo. This exiles itself though, right? Ah. But like things like just the, this, this, it's like a two for one. It gets back, um, whatever, it gets back a removal spell. It's a creature and then you kill, you kill one of their creatures with it. It's just a two for one. I'm not gonna play Rookie Mistake unless I'm desperate. This is pretty decent. Got a few, a few like this is definitely a bomb in the right deck. Oh, that's that's a bomb. Hello. Uh, there's I don't think there's anything that's topping Big Lily. I mean Big Chandra. Look at that, and we have a full art. Look how beautiful that art is. Like with all the with like the extra like smoking moldering stuff. Mm, not moldering. <laughs> um, like you know like the. Imagine being able to speak. I don't even know, but it it looks beautiful. Yes. Um. Okay, nope, Aeoths, this card's probably the best card in the pack, though. Just because it it's big and it has a cheap effect if you don't have the mana. Yeah, I'm like, that's just pretty good. Also, it puts a card into a graveyard, so that's better for, like, frantic inventory and Stripwreck Dowser and Experimental Overload. Yeah. Um, there is Capture Sphere here, but I think we're, we can chill with the... I don't really like this type of removal. It doesn't come back. It does trigger Prowess, but it doesn't kill come back. I think we take another one of these. Having two, especially with like ways to kind of mill myself, like this kind of mills myself. Oh, this exiles cards though, right? Exile top three cards. Oh, oh, just discards your hands. You can discard like one of my frantic inventories and stuff. This is just a good way of triggering prowess. Like if you have multiple of them, if we can get to like four, that's in like pretty dang good. So what we really need to find though is a three drop because we have zero three drops um, and that's a problem. We always want three drops. We would really, really dislike having to like not having three drops. That's a problem. That's a major problem. But we do have Big Chandra, and um, we have some removal spells to get us there. Hello, Tutelage. Um, yeah, that's just a. This card is so good. It give it. It wins you game that you have wins you games you have no business winning, and with a bunch of just cheap draw effects like um, these frantic inventories and this crash through, just a few cheap draw effects. If we get more of these frantic inventories, maybe another crash through, something like that. These two can get really, really good. Um, Unleash Fury is not really playable. Kerr is kind of and eh. Burn Bright is very nice with the Wizardry, but I don't really like it too much. Um, maybe we just want the Burn Bright actually. We're, we're kind of low on creatures. Uh, this is definitely not what we want. I don't like this card at all in the blue red deck. I don't like this card at all in the blue red deck. I think we might just want to take this Burn Bright. Um, it's fine. Ooh, this is the crappy removal spell, right? Exile type creature, that creature. That creature's controller reveals cards on the top of the hour until they reveal a creature card. That's onto the battlefield. 
kind of eh. I mean, I just take this two, this protege, just get for another three drop. Um, read the tide is kind of bad when we have a bunch of powerful, like larger spells. Cause we'd rather just be playing one of these than drawing three cards, you know. I like these goblins. Reign of Revelations, nice. Third frantic inventory. I want to take this frantic inventory. Um, Reign of Revelations is probably just a better card. If we had, it was between one, like our first copy of frantic. Oh my god, it was between our first copy of frantic inventory and like our first copy of rain. It would definitely be rain, but having a third frantic inventory is so good. Like the more you get, the more insane this deck gets. Also, having two of these is pretty dang good. Like now we just want to try and stack up on on some some removal spells are really good targets for this overload like scorching dragon fire turn to slag um just powerhouse instants and sorceries if we can get the um all oh, the big one that i forgot to name is only cast instant and sorcery spell right so there's not much i mean it ramps us to playing wizardry on three which is kind of nice and it can help us get out one of these i'd rather just take another protege for another three drop i like this card we don't, we don't have to worry about this being part of our three drop curve. Um, ooh, that's a late eliminate. That was like pick, pick eleven eliminate. Um, that's kind of whoa no. That's kind of scary. Pick eleven eliminate. Like that's just really really a big sign that someone no one. Also this was really pretty dang late too. But that, it's a pretty big sign that no one's in black. Uh, this is a good three drop. It has prowess. There's not this pack is kind of bad for us. Like really bad for us. Um, we can probably cut this burn bite. It's nice to have this. Uh, we actually really want to try and pick up more powerful instance of sorceries. But if we have like experimental overload with like two front with all three of our frantic inventories in the graveyard, and we just get back a frantic, that's pretty good too. Like just drawing a bunch of cards. Um, we're gonna try and like think about this a little bit more though. So this will make a few cards. Maybe library larcenist, but I don't like this card unless you're playing green or like sure strikes. But and Mistral Singer just feels so good in this type of uh, deck. So yeah, we're gonna take this Mistral Singer. Also, look at all our cool full arts. Is that a second tutelage? That is, that is actually, oh, but there's this guy. Oh, that's such a nice powerhouse removal spell for our deck. Um, but tutelage is tutelage. What do, we have that, what do we have that draws us cards in general? This doesn't draw us cards though, right? No. Uh, we have two of these. Two tutelage is so hard to turn down. There's a ghost light and a geyser. I think the geyser would wheel. But a second tutelage is just so good. Our deck is like so cool when it's like mostly full arted out. Look at that, beautiful. Also, we have so many wind conditions in this deck. I love this. This is beautiful. This is amazing. Is my stream kind of lagging? Hold up. So I usually watch my, my streams on my phone just to check the chat because I only have one monitor, right? And it, on my screen, my stream is lagging. I hope it's not lagging for the video either. Okay, it's better now. All right. There's a fourth frantic inventory. That's pretty insane. Um, Yeah, I think we just can't resist taking the fourth one of these. Discontinuity is cool. Soul Seer is a really nice powerhouse removal spell. Uh, discontinuity is kind of, it, it exiles itself, right? Yeah, it exiles itself, so we can't get it back with any of these big things. And this doesn't. This is just a big removal spell that comes back. Um, I think that's just what we want here. Uh, what else do we want? There's substan unsubstantiate's kind of decent. Uh, I don't really like it too much. It's kind of bad. We had the saltwater cliff, swift water cliffs. Um, we are playing a, uh, nothing big, but... Double red, double blue, like these big, the more expensive things are double color, but I don't want to play this. There's nothing instant speed. You go like, okay, rewind into like, experiment, goblin wizardry, it's just not worth playing this. We're going to take this probably. Yeah, this just seems like the best pick. Okay, yeah, black is so open. Look at the, um, the sanctum. We're going to take this ogre just because it's nice to have another creature and yeah. Fifth frantic inventory, um, don't mind if I do. Uh, another one of these. Yeah, five frantic inventories is definitely a, a good sign. <laughs> um, we do not want this. We're gonna take, we're gonna take this uncommon. Uh, we need to kind of cut down on our creatures uh, a little bit, or like just on our on our card. We don't want to play this. All our big things. That's good. Maybe one less protege. 
16 lands, no. I mean, 16 lands is actually pretty good with like a bunch of these draw spells, but I think we could do better with just with one less. We have a bunch of instant sorcery, so I'm sure our, our, if we look at our deck, I'm, I'm sure like it's gonna be like how many creatures, seven creatures, like that's not a lot of creatures, but look, think about it this way. We have two tutelages, so we don't need to win with combat, right? We have Chandra, that's like a, a, a game winner most times. Um, we have two experimental overloads, which create creatures, all right? We have Goblin Wizard, who creates pretty good creatures in this type of deck. Like, we're doing pretty fine. We have enough removal spells, I think, and we have enough, we have a few removal spells and enough ways to get them back that we're, I think we're, we're fine in this type of deck without so many creatures, but I think we should keep taking creatures just in case we have to fall back on it. I think this was a really good card to pick up. Uh, five damage for creature or Planeswalker, three mana is pretty dang good in general. Indestructible is only good against the um, the one red rare, eh. but uh, Brash Taunter, I think it was called, yeah. But besides that, this is just a, a really nice, it's just it's a three mana version of this that's instant speed. Like it's just so much better than turn to slag. Just destroy equipment and attach this creature. Like what equipment? Um, the the one one the the sword the little short sword. Like that doesn't mean anything. It's nice killing that. I I guarantee you it, it's nice. Oh maybe the the black uncommon. That's pretty good too. But I think we do want to play this thrill possibility with five frantics. We can cut like not a creature. We need to cut like an instant or sorcery spell. Uh, actually, maybe uh, maybe we just don't play too many creatures. Like Shacklights can't block. I can't block creatures with flying. Like, maybe we just don't play that. We're not playing any of the spirits. We just don't play that, and we just like play like a more like we're gonna. Draw. Okay, we'll not play this creature either. We'll just play like this, and we'll just we'll just try our hardest to just draw and draw and draw. Mistral Singer is kind of nice. We can cut Mistral Singer for another one of those draw spells though. Or like a draw card effect, or creature the the other creature like a protege. Yeah, I think we want to do that. Let's cut the singer. Even though singer seems really good in this in this type of, in this color pair, I think we're oh dang. Oh, I forgot we had two swift water clips. I'm I'm actually going insane. Let's play a larcenus. Let's play a protege. We want to play creatures that have draw card effects just because they're they're good as heck. Uh, I love this card too. I didn't know why this hell why the hell this card was on my sideboard, but this card looks really this deck looks really good. Um, we're just blue red tutelages with a bunch of our alternate wing ons like Chandra um, and big big creatures. Yeah, we're, I think this is definitely a tier one draft deck. Um, I love this. Five of the the draw cards. As long as we don't play against aggro that has like a really aggressive like one two three curve, I think we'll be fine. And if we do play against them, we'd have to have like scorching dragon fire and like. Experimental Overload, I think that's the card's called. The, I always forget the name of it, the gold card, the the, dual, the blue red gold card. Yeah, if we have those, then we're doing pretty, pretty good. Like, oh, I was like, what the heck? Why am I playing someone in Mythic that scared the crap out of me? Then there was Win. Okay. Um, ah, this hand is kind of, eh. I mean, we have Waker to find red and spells. I think we can actually keep this though. We're on the play. We can Waker on two. Frantic inventory. I just want to go for the frantic inventory. Actually, no. I think I think it's better to go to for Waker. Frantic inventory on one. Waker can put like an an inventory into our graveyard. Like I think ideally here we see a mountain and a frantic. There's a tutelage. We will take the tutelage. We will play said tutelage. We will draw a card. We will discard this crash through. He will mill two. All right, so we're gonna go friendly inventory, draw a card. Friendly inventory, draw two cards. Just make a mill six, eight cards next turn. Go down to 20 cards. Oh, dang, only 19 cards, actually. Go friendly inventory, if we find a mountain here, I'll play it. Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll pass. Read friendly inventory and end step. On his end step. You won't know what hit him. Oh, he milled out two lands and then two spells. It's not bad. Twenty-two cards is about to come eight. Is about to become eighteen. All right. He's he's slow. He he had a big boy. That's actually pretty scary. But we're we're drawing a bunch of cards and we're oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. No no no. It's all it's. Uh, I I've never actually done this before. 
two tutelages, and then we get the shipwreck damage of the turn after. That's insane. That's like scary. Tutelage. Um, uh, 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 instead, if a creature died this turn, okay, this exiles it, right? Exile instead, yeah. Alright, so my, my boy over there is gonna have some problems now. Um, every draw we mill he mills four and if we draw like if we draw a third copy of this friend uh, uh, thir a third of our fifth frantic inventories he's we're drawing three cards and we're milling him for 12 like he's just dead like that's insane that's that's pretty dang insane so he he's on a clock he's on a three turn clock now and we were at 20 with a removal spell and a bunch of creatures and a gain life land, a, a, a gain land so Plus, if we swing with this Larcenist, we we add a turn. So maybe the next turn we just go like Scorching. We're, we're Scorching Dragon on Fire on end step. And then we'll see what we draw. Hopefully we find like a three drop maybe. Or two drop. If we find that um that third copy of Frantic, he just dies. Or a third, uh, a third copy, he just dies. That's pretty insane. We've dug through t like 18 cards of our deck already. So by odds, we'll, we're actually pre pretty close to finding a, a third Frantic. He doesn't know what to do. Like, we, we just put him so close to being dead so fast. This deck is so nice. I, I really like this, actually. And we, we didn't even, if we had kept this crash through, we would bottomed something else, like, that's pretty insane. We're not gonna bolt this land or visionary. We don't really care unless, we need to wait for him to put out something big. If he passes, then we'll bolt it, but. No, Sage, all right, then we'll bolt this. Alright. Okay, that's a good draw. That's quite a nice draw. Also, he's dead next turn just to shipwreck Dowser, get friend of inventory back, so he needs to kill us now. Six cards in the deck, we can make him draw, we'll draw two cards, he'll mill eight, so he'll be dead. One, two, three, oh yeah, the Scoo's in there, that would've been pretty bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, he should be flooding pretty hard, actually. Wait, we only milled out seven lands? Is that true? One, two, three, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so he's... 10, 12, 13 lands. So he has four more lands in his deck and his hand. And he doesn't know that he's just dead. Okay, kill spell. He has to have what? Like a kill spell and a pump spell? We're gonna block. Block the Gnarled Sage. Yeah, so he's just dead, we go Shipwreck Dowser, we get back um, the Frantic Inventory, and then we cast it. And then we, we draw two cards and mill him for eight. Oh my god, and we have this too. Yeah, this is a pretty powerful showing of the deck. Um, we'll show him this one. Frantic Inventory. Cast frantic inventory. Okay, we beat number thirteen thirty-two in mythic. That was a very nice showing of um of the blue red tutelage deck. Tutelage, I tell you, like if we had let that game go and we had just drawn random creatures, we would have lost that game, hands down. Like we would have just lost. Like that, tutelage wins you games where you have no business winning. And we, our deck can dig fast enough where we can we can actually pull that off. Like we can just keep drawing and drawing and drawing. You saw what we did there. We just kept drawing and drawing and drawing. We eventually we found our our tutelages. That was pretty lucky though. We weren't we're, we're supposed to find one every twenty cards, and we found one in the first like fifteen cards. We found both of them in the first fifteen. So that that's not gonna happen every time. That's definitely not gonna happen every time, and we should not expect it to happen every time. That was pretty insane though. <laughs> not gonna lie. That was. That was pretty insane. All right, primary numbers, primary numbers. All right, we'll take a moment. We will keep um, with both our tutelages, by the way. 
and we'll bottom this just because we need all of these spells to help us find our other spells. Uh, hopefully we go tutelage on three, tutelage on four, and then he just struggles from there. That would be ideal. We're probably gonna wake her on two. Uh, it doesn't involve drawing a card, so it wouldn't feed tutelage. If we went thrill, we'd be missing out on a bunch of triggers, right? Like it's just. And the turn, we can try and dig to maybe find um, another draw spell. Best uh, thing here would probably be two. Like if we if we saw, oh god, that's pretty good. Um, if we found like two of the frantic inventories, all right, we'll take frantic over the land. We don't really need it. All right, this is a pretty aggressive deck. We're only getting hit for two. We're on a, you know, we're not, we're not anywhere close to dying. Gonna, we have a bunch of ways of drawing cards too. Oh, okay. I meant to discard a frantic inventory, but that is completely okay. We run out of tutelage next turn. Um, draw another card. Discard another card. Get four cards into his graveyard, and then we start drawing and drawing and drawing and milling and milling and milling. Uh, we also need lands. <laughs> that's a that's a problem. We're probably gonna discard the souls here if we can't find. No, nope, we'll discard protege. He also, by the way, didn't play anything last turn. He just played a tap land, and we just milled out a bunch of spells. Oh, he's playing Abzan. Our teams. No, still no land. Jeez. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to discard the um, frantic inventory here to, to draw two. Find a land, hopefully. There's a land. And a frantic inventory. I will right, we'll mill him. <laughs> what is this madness? Um, he goes down to ten cards, and we can draw two more cards and put him to two cards in the deck still? Okay, we'll do that now. Um... I didn't actually mean to do that, but that's eight more cards into his grave. He falls down to two. Yeah, good game. Okay. Um, welcome to Double Tutelage. The, the, okay, that was a good luck again. We just mulliganed until we found both in our hand, and we kept a hand with very few land with a few lands and a bunch of draw spells and tutelages. That 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 wins you the game. The, he's playing an aggressive deck, it seemed like, where he went two drop into Anthem on three. That's pretty good. And we just we still just ran him over. We killed him on like turn four. He would have been legitimately down on five, like guaranteed death on five, but he scooped on four because he knew there was no way of him killing me that next turn. That was insane. That was absolutely bonkers. Bonkers, dude. Bonkers. What the heck? Uh, sorry, I'm playing around with, with a pen. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Ooh, can we get this hand? We bought him. Pitch burned out. No, we have the mulligan. We're just mulligan until we find this bad boy. We'll keep, and we'll bottom turn to slide. Solar Eclipse. Uh, yeah, I think we're just trying to, we're just going for tutelage, tutelage or bust. Uh, we, even that hand was pretty dang good, and we just didn't want it just because there's no tutelage. Uh, we're going to hold this for tutelage. He's playing a, a white, a slower, it looks like maybe flying deck, it's just, it's still pretty slow, so we can, we can definitely afford to start tutelaging, especially because tutelage draws this card, so it'll hopefully draw us into, um, the second tutelage, and, or maybe some more draw spells, just ways to kill him. We have thrill possibility and other stuff as well. Oh, that's that's very um, aggressively non non creatures. Just aggressive, straight up. Like you're not. Wow. Okay. All right, buddy. Whatever you say. We're gonna need these lands a lot more. We're gonna discard this wind. No, we kind of. Uh, that's that's really really powerful. Like that's totally throwing. I wouldn't be able to play this hard file hard fire emulator here if you didn't have that. Looks like he's just playing like a white blue floor. We know so many lands. Uh, lucky him. It looks like he's playing like a white blue flying deck. Yeah, that's really bad. Six lands. We just milled out two spells, six lands. That's pretty pretty crappy odds. This is an aggressive deck, we haven't noticed. I just noticed. Uh, um, looks like we're gonna go like shipwreck dowser, get it back our, our bad boy. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Alright, that's nice. Okay, we can go hide fire emulator. Okay, well, I guess we're doing that. I was, I, I do this sometimes on my on accident and it annoys me. Uh, we, he, oh, he lost a, another land and a watcher, okay. So we can block one of these, one of these daybreak chargers. So it only takes six this turn. Which is definitely what we'll be doing. Mm. Ooh, 
okay, there's another line to this. We can go, look, 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 we go to blockers, we do this, right? And then we go sack, kill this. And now it's dead and we stop this. When we're taking four this turn instead of the six or whatever we were planning on taking. And now we can play this frantic inventory also because the, the Bryn wing mare isn't there anymore. He mills to 16 cards. Okay, there's two spells. He mills to even less cards, okay. Um, we can now, we can go experiment or experimental overload, only get a 2-2, two -two, I guess, to block one of the chargers and then get back, probably thrill a possibility, discard the waker. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Oh, unless he's a counter spell, which he most likely does. Probably uh, the lofty denial. Yes, lofty denial is a card. All right, we'll, we'll activate our waker. Now we're taking close to lethal. Um, that's a problem. I didn't play around the lofty denial. Uh, I don't know why I didn't play around the lofty denial. Okay, he has a bunch of ways of killing us here. That is not one of them. It's a way of annoying us severely. But we need to mill him 13 cards in one go. Otherwise we die. We're at one now. All right, we'll activate Waker. Choice is an illusion, remember that. Uh, we'll pray that we draw one of those. All right, we, we'll run out this bad boy. We'll draw two more cards. Come on. Nope, and we're dead. That was pretty, pretty bad luck. We milled out a whole bunch of lands in the early game, and we were playing against an aggressive deck with flying and removal spells and a whole lot of problems for us. Now we're just dead. Um, but getting back, sir, get, being able to get this back, I mean... Okay, usually if it resolved, it would have been exiled, but just, you know, just doing that would be so good. If, if only, if only the woodpecker size. All right, that was, I mean, that was bound to happen eventually, just playing against an aggro deck that had a very powerful start and had the counterspell for that experimental overload. If they didn't, they were dead. <laughs> like, it's, it's plain and simple. If they didn't counter that, they were just dead. And that's annoying. Like, if, they, if that had resolved, we would have got the 2-2 two -two to block one of their 3-1s. We would have um, got the uh, ex uh, the blue, the draw, frantic inventory, drawn a card, found uh, the frantic inventory one card earlier. We would have drawn an extra card and survived for maybe an extra turn. So, let them look at no, no, no tutelage. I'm looking again. Uh, it's started, it started, it's, at one point, it starts to get a little... Bad finding milling or digging through three cans of seven and just not finding a tutelage, which is is pretty pretty absurd. All right, well we can wake her for a tutelage here. Darkness. Okay, so it's a blue red type of spell stack. Uh, we're gonna get this larcenist here. Put a friendly inventory in the graveyard. We're gonna play this Larcenist, force him in a position where he has to play something that, that can like block block this Larcenist so that we don't get a free draw. So you know tutelage us, that'd be that'd be horrible. We're just having a tutelage race, but we don't have any tutelages. That's that's pretty crappy luck for us, by the way, just not finding a tutelage. Ah, he has a kill spell. Oh god. I'm trying not to play too many of my draw draw effects until I find this tutelage. I'm just gonna play this creature, watch it get lofty denied or bounced, um, unsubstantiated maybe. Nope, frantic inventories. Okay, he's got the the hard instant or sorcery deck where we're playing more like we're gonna find that tutelage and we're gonna mill you out as fast as heck. And this deck seems a little bit uh, a little bit too luck based maybe. Just with the, we have removal, but we're kind of just, we need the tutelages. We don't, we didn't, we never found any of those weirds. We found one early, but we, we took the Scorching Dragonfire over it. All right, fine then, we'll, we'll play one. Draw three cards. We're, okay. Okay then. Or in next four cards, you think we'll find one? We kind of need to find one pretty fast. We've dug through three of our frantic inventories. 
we don't really want to have to use this thrill anymore. We kind of just need to find one. A protege is still not going to block. The heck we are going to block. Maybe he has like rewind or probably not. Uh, probably another scorching dragon fire or something. He just doesn't. Oh, there's one on ours. All right, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass, and then when he goes to combat, I'm gonna block his weird, and I'm gonna see what he does. I'm actually I'm gonna flash out wizardry, and then double block the weird, and then gonna, and a scorching dragon fire, and see if that does any. That, and then scorching dragon fire the mistral singer. Actually, we'll all block the, the weird. And then should he try to do something funny? So we want to do here. Yeah. Sure strike. Oh, I'm gonna do this now actually then. Yeah. Just to see if we can get it off before he has another instant sorcery spell or something. Let's we'll just see what it is. We now we he can have another instant sorcery, the scorching dragon fire will still kill it. He needs to have like um uh an actual like counter spell or pump another pump spell. Prowess, prowess. And we, we just two for one here. That's totally fine. I'm, I'm probably not killing this singer. It's two damage. Actually, it's three, but. We took out a sure strike. That That's pretty powerful, along with one of his big creatures. So taking the three there is, is pretty nothing. Much Pretty much nothing compared to what, you know, what we got out of that, that combat. There we go. Please don't counter this. No, we think you would have counted the Scorching Dragon Fire anyway. Okay. Get a mail. Ooh, we draw a crash through. Alright, well, I'm gonna do this. You sure I have to cycle through the crash through. Next time I find a land, I'll turn it into a, a thrill. I can also swing for six. <laughs> I just realized that. I. I see no point in blocking the 1-3 uh, with 1-1s, one so we might as well swing for 6. Ooh, there's a tutelage. Okay. Um, now we are feeling pretty dang good. We have double tutelage. He's... We're, we have a better board than him without these tutelages. Like, we do have a few less cards in deck, though. We have three less cards. But we can start racing him with these tutelages really, pretty easily now. That's a nice feel-good. Might want to pick up the, one of those miscasts, though. Just to maybe play with it. Just because, like, we're playing a cheap instant sorcery type deck. Alright, Scorching Dragon Fire 2-3. Interesting, interesting. We still have a bunch of ways of drawing cards in our hands, so I'm not worried. Tutelage will draw us a card when it enters the battlefield. Um, and Thrill will also. Plus, we still have two frantic inventories in the deck, right? We still have... Yeah, we still have two more. And we find one of those drawing four cards that's... Eight, that's 16 cards out of this deck if we, if we, for two mana, plus we draw four cards. Like, that's pretty insane. Pretty insane. Oh, we have this guy, too. <laughs> okay. Um, no, nah, we got two lynch right now. Just go for it. See what we find. Might just want to discard this Chandra just because she's kind of slow. Pitch the Protégé. I mean, just pass. This is a disc this is a drawing of two cards, which will be one so four, eight, eight cards into his deck, into his grave. So he'll be at like five or fifteen. Actually we can do it just because if we find a, another spell, he's just dead. No, okay. 
I think we're fine with not playing, or with playing this island here just for, oh, we did a lofty now somewhere. Another frantic inventory, all right. What a combat again. I think we'll actually go to Soul Seer, the Mistal Singer, in response to damage. Four damage. Just hit him for even more and take out his only threat. We had, like, these 1-1 one -one goblins have done so much in this type of deck. We're cycling through our deck so fast. He's down to four cards. One, two lands. Eight. All right. I mean, we have, we have ten, seven lands and eight spells in our deck. Oh. So it's more like six and, and seven, seven and six. Seven spells, six lands, because we know these guys are at the bottom. That means we still have another overload. I just completely forgot. If we draw an overload, that's gonna be insane. Ah, he scoops. Yeah, if we, we we draw one card, we mill four cards out. He's dead. Like, actually, I just realized I forgot we had two again. <laughs> that's that's pretty pretty powerful. We can just win games by just playing tutelages. And even that game, that game took us a long time to find our tutelage, and we still just beat him because we have two tutelages and a crap ton of ways of just draw 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 draw, find tutelage, play the tutelage. Like it's pretty mind blowing that we can just do that. Like, it, especially against like the slow decks like that deck that just took too that deck just too, took too much time to to um, put us in a pat, bad position and we just capitalized on it. That's a death mole. Ooh, hello, double tutelage. Ooh, and the scorching dragon fire to do on on two. Shouldn't be playing against a white red aggro deck. <laughs> I'll find Huntmaster. Huntmaster. That's that's pretty good. Get in the doggos. Get in the doggos. Oh, only Vigilance doggo. Alright, well we have a whole lot of stuff to do here. We have double tutelage, experiment overload, with the Scorching Dragonfire. Uh, we will be killing this. Uh, we need a pump spell. We need to get a feel bad pump spell out of here. Ooh, okay. Big feel bad, big feel bad. Gonna hit us three. Still like I have a turn though, so that's nice. Uh, we will play Mountain Tutelage. It would have been very nice to actually just take out this Houndmaster. Alright, we have Shipwreck Dowser too. Wait, what the heck? Oh, we have this guy. Ah, okay. This puts a counter though. That's, that's pretty annoying. I think we'll end up discarding this Shipwreck Dowser just because it, it feels really slow. Hit for another three. Alright, White Red is probably the worst matchup for us though. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot of damage coming in. But I think we still just go for the tutelage here. We need to raise seven damage. That's half of our life total going away. And we have to take this. Mill you four more cards. And you're going to fall down to 21 cards. Play land go. I mean, we can play overload, get back one, uh, Scorching Dragonfire, but that's not even a draw spell. And we kind of, we couldn't even do both of those in the same turn. Oh, we didn't hit for eight. I totally forgot about that. We need to, we really need to do something here. Okay, there's a frantic inventory. Okay, we need we need to find a frantic inventory off that frantic inventory, and then find another frantic inventory. Like it, it's pretty. The odds are quite against us. Can we find it though? Nope. Got him. All right. I'm not gonna waste this time. Him him having that that feat of resistance in the beginning really just led to a whole bunch of just dying, <laughs> like. That was that was the big problematic m moment for us is when he had the feet of resistance. Maybe we just wanted to go for the Scorching Dragonfire like right as we saw it. Um, I thought maybe it was just better to wait a second. Some people, especially in Platinum, like people aren't the best, so they will, you know, maybe play as creatures before combat or do some stuff they don't have to do. But that's fine. That's fine. Milling people out super fast. Uh, this is a pretty dang good hand. We just have Chandra, so we can definitely keep on the draw again, though. This deck really feels like it's super hard to beat on the draw, like... I mean, on, on the... Yeah, if you're on the draw, you can't really beat this deck. I'm crash throwing, I'm not finding inventory. Um, it's just not worth it, it feels like. I'm gonna go for the Larsis here. Or tutelage, should I top back a tutelage? <laughs> not gonna, not not making, not pointing any fingers, but it would be great if I top deck tutelage. Nope. 
but it would be amazing if I just top decked one of those beautiful tutelages. All right, we kind of need to find some lands here. Um, I'm gonna say no blocks. Hit me for two. Undead skeleton archer pings my face. Not my face. Um, okay, we will definitely go to combat draw. Uh, and then kill. Yay. No, that tapped our only blue mana. How typical. <laughs> uh, it's fine, though. We get to Chandra, take up, shock the Igneous Kerr. Next turn, that's just powerful. That's just straight up powerful, so. He's only pinging us for two every each turn, and we can start Chandra, like, oh, look, Chandra. What are you gonna do about that? Huh? Not gonna swing with this Larsense either. Just gonna let it go. Shock. Wow, how shocking. He pump it to five? Are we, what does is, what is her ult do again? Shoot your grave right. Shoot your grave right in the library. Find your right in the Red is in sorcery spells. X of them. Mm, that's not horrible, but it's not insane. I'm not attacking, though. I'd rather... He probably has a kill spell here for this guy anyway, so... Oh, no, he flashed it out in trades after we drew two cards. That's pretty insane. Pretty insane. All right, we'll, we'll block them. We'll go to block the masked black guard. Uh, he wants to tap out to pump the masked black guard and hit our Chandra for one, and that's fine. Yeah, we'll, we will definitely block. Um, it's okay if you use a three mana to pump. We're just playing in a pretty bad position. Oh, he doesn't want to pump at all. Okay. Anaki Org, sure. You know what Anaki Org does best? Get shocked. <laughs> we can do this all day, opponent. We can do this all day. Um, Alright, let's probably just go Goblin Wizardry Frantic Inventory next turn. Make it 2 2 that blocks an Aeneas Kerr. That is totally fine with me. That is completely fine. We don't even need tutelages. We just need Chandras. Big, big boy of Chandras. Just two, we already have two triggers off the, two kills off the Chandra, and he, we made him, uh, like, be put into a pretty crappy position, like, that's just power. Pure power from the Chandra. Gonna, gonna block. Gonna actually double block here. He can only pump once, Let's see if he wants to, want to, once he wants to do. Yeah, so we're, we're pretty much, we're still one for one um, What we were trying to do there is put him in a position where he really wants to pump so that he can kill our second goblin. Um, and we clearly did that very well, so. We're gonna shock him. All right, shipwreck dowser. Getting um, Goblin Wizardry. All right, we have a bunch of, of, of threats in our hand. Um, we have a removal spell for that, by the way, because it loses indestructible, so it dies. <laughs> um, thank you for that. Five me, sure. Oh no. I have taken five. What am I ever to do? I shall cast this experimental overload. I shall get back this soul seer. I shall swing for eight. So wing better, better, better. Let go. <laughs> like wow, that's that's power. We don't need tutelage. <laughs> Who needs tutelage? We don't. That's insane. Oh no, not a bolt hound. Not a bolt hound. And a demonic embrace. Okay, we're not dead, are we? <laughs> uh, uh, no, we fall to four. He falls to quite dead. Like, that was insane. Plus, we have a soul here to kill that. We have um, Chandra's gonna ult nope, in like one turn. Pretty insane. Who needs tutelages? We just need a, a hand with mana and Chandra. Like, we need a hand with mana and tutelages. Or a hand with mana and Chandra. 
and that is the definition of just power. Like you, if you have a hand with a but a few lands and this card, it is going to be very hard for your opponent to win. Though naturally, we didn't get that hand, that type of hand this game. But we will definitely keep this. We are on the play with um, Goblin Wizardry and Experimental Overload and Hardfire Emulator and a removal spell. Like we might as well just keep this hand. Hardfire Emulator. Um, I think I'm gonna go for a draw here. Find a land. Swing. Gonna draw a sorcery speed just in case I found like, I don't know, a uh, crash through. Truffle Snout. Gonna put a counter on him. We're at 33. Not bad, not bad. Gonna, ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you. We praise our deck for this beautiful draw. Mm, white green counters. We'll hold this guy back. He isn't blocking, but he's not really gonna. I'd rather just. Ah, I might actually want to just put him in a position where he could trade. Mm, maybe, yeah, maybe we should be up there. It's all good. Hopefully, he finds his target, like a, a two mana target, or if he can go like Scorching Dragon Fire, Trouble Snout, kill the other Truffle. That's a third Trouble Snout. What are you doing with all these Truffle Snouts? So many truffles and snouts and snout like truffles and truffly snouts and, and all that good stuff. We'll draw. Ooh, OP. Find some lands. What? Oh, we got rid of a warden. OK, there's a bunch of counters. OK, yeah, so it's just he's playing these for, for payoffs. Um, OK, we'll swing. So wing better, better. He doesn't want to block. I don't see why he would. That would be highly illogical. Uh, all right, now we can kill one Truffle Snout and we can pay red to kill the other Truffle Snout, so. All right. We will proceed to kill a Truffle Snout. It's not like activated this way, it's a sorcery, right? Kill the other Truffle Snout. All the Truffle Snouts are dead. You played a four mana two, three with lifelink, but have fun with that. I'll take this frantic inventory back. Draw two cards. Okay, we can go. If we, st I don't know if we play land this turn. I usually forget. Where are your bombs? Oh, there's one. All right. He could just be dead next turn. He's gonna go to like eleven cards left in the deck. Hunter's Edge. Okay. He's just, he's playing really, like, his deck just isn't aggressive enough to, to deal with even one tutelage, so. He's drawing cards. How helpful. Cycle of Crash, though. Draw three cards off the frantic inventory. He, he could just be dead. We find another way of drawing cards. He's just dead. Uh, he's dead. Good game. Double Conclave Mentor on the bottom of his deck. And GG. Thanks for the Chandra Heart, too. Okay. <laughs> okay. You don't deal with my one tutelage, then it, you can't beat me. And also, if I draw Chandra, you also lose. Welcome, like. Oh, that's five and two. That's pretty dang good. That's a pretty dang good record. All right, it was a pretty good hand. Yeah, I can see my stream, I'm lagging. I hope I don't lag that hard for the YouTube videos also. I'm sorry, guys. Ooh, hello. Hello, tutelage. Definitely gonna wake your on two here rather than um, inventory. Queer and Dry is pretty dang powerful. Should be something to look at. Queer and Dry is a powerful card. 
Maybe we find a removal spell off this waker. That would be quite nice. Let's see what he wants to do here. He can get really aggressive. He can go like sure strike, hit us for like five. Ooh, big plays. Oh, Naya. Okay, big, big plays. Sky scanner. So interesting. Sure, draw a card. I'm play one one. It's fine. You're not taking up your career and you're not adding to the board, and I'm totally fine with that. Alright, we'll probably play tutelage and then we'll play this land and play like kind of three drop. Tutelage. Toot. Teferi's tutor. Tutor. Ooh, nice mill. Alrighty, alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Alrighty, we're taking up the four card, four lands. Gonna wanna probably play this tapped and run like one of these three drops. Probably the protege. Probably the protege. Just because like turn five we can play like uh, turn five we can run out like one of our spells and then like Yeah, Protege is also just a good blocker. I don't know. Scoozy, scoozy, scoozy. Scoozy is quite annoying against us actually. We can take out these frantic inventories. That is probably why we wanna do them both right now. Before we start getting punished. Uh, screws. So he's gonna go to 19 cards. Plus, we're getting value out of drawing cards. Like, we're gonna find more ways to draw cards, especially with the seven deck. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out why he's playing red. Bunch of Pride Malkins, Hunter's Edge, a few like weaker flyers. Not not very powerful deck. Just like probably some. Hopefully, as like a, or hopefully for him, he has some like Conclave Mentor or something good. Mills up the Winker. Okay. Not our frantic inventories, that's nice, thank you. God bless. No, don't do it. You have a bunch of creatures in your graveyard. Why don't you mill out your creatures? Okay, he mills out that. Five, six, seven, eight, and maybe nine if he mills out another. Don't mill out a frantic inventory, don't do it, don't do it. Trust me, mill out one of your cards, yeah, okay. Don't care about how much life you have. I just wanna keep my frantic inventory so that I can like not die. Uh, all right, so I'm probably just gonna play the saltwater cliffs, gain a life, and to the the protege, protege. Or I could kill the scoos. That's actually pretty good. Playing saltwater cliffs, gain to eight, kill the scoos. Ooh, or not? We can play heartfire emulator and kill the scoos. Let's do this now. Kill the scoos. Kill the scoos. Please don't have the pro. No feet of resistance. Does he have the feet? He could have the feet. Does he have the feet? No, he has the feet. He has the feet. Not the feet. Not the feet. We almost we almost died there. If we didn't draw that hard fire emulator, we would have been dead. We could just be dead now and he could be dead to a kill spell. Maybe that's why he's playing red. But he had the feet. They always have the feet. How do they always have the feet, dude? Two card hand. Come on, no feet. No feet. No feet. I mean, yeah, if they have feet, we're good too, like. 15 cards, like, we're, 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 big goof. We are not dead. We are not dead, 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 dead. And that was the end of our draft. Five and three is not bad at all. That's what we should be striving for. Five and three is not bad. Tell that to yourself. That is a profit, I'm 99% sure. Yes, that is a 100 gems profit. That is great. That was amazing. That was a great draft. I love doing that draft with you. That game was really fun. And I haven't had that much fun playing Arena in a, in a long while, sadly, just because Standard and... Historic feel very dry right now, even with Alan Cat. Um, bye, guys. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace.